Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a little bit something different today. I'm actually working on a uh, banner for my granddaughter's fourth birthday party. So I'm working on the bows here, but let me show you the other pieces. <clears throat> so we have two little purses because you know, Minnie Mouse always has to have her purse. And then some Minnie Mouse heads. And the theme of the party is Minnie Mouse. And then I bought this ribbon, and I'm gonna see if this ribbon will work as the um, item to hang um, for the banner, to put the, to glue these onto. So I thought while I was gluing all these little dots on here, we could have a chat and talk. I wanna do these little half pieces first. Make sure y'all can see that. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna do all these little halves first here. Get these out of here. I'm on the fence with this quick stick. See if it really works as well as I think it's gonna work for me. So how are y'all doing today? What's going on? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're up to. And if you're new, leave a comment down below and let me know where you are from and if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. I'm getting super close to a thousand um, subscribers, so that's very exciting. I'm really excited about that. So I used, I have a Cricut. Um, I have the new Cricut Maker 3, and I am using that to glue all these pieces on or I use that to cut out these pieces not glue them on and the cut files I found a couple of them on Cricut Access and then I also have a membership on a website called Auntie Tay um, you know like Auntie Auntie and um I got a few of these. I got the this uh, Minnie Mouse head and the bow from her website. But I'm sure you could find something on Design Bundles or like I said, uh, Cricut Access as well. The purse I got uh, just from Cricut Access. <clears throat> Losing. Okay. Ah, oh, yep, I got a little one here. Okay. That might make it a little bit easier to pick them up. But yeah, um, I haven't played around with my cricket a whole lot lately, so I'm excited to kind of get back in and play around with it and use it. It's pretty easy to use if you haven't ever used one. But 
But yes, yeah, she's so cute. She's um, turning four, my granddaughter. And she was excited to have a um, Minnie Mouse birthday party, which I think is adorable. pop on here and just chat with you all and show you what I'm working on today. Boy, the weather is still just absolutely gorgeous here in Kentucky. It's a little bit warmer today. I think it's up at about 75 degrees, but I'm okay with that. I can handle that. Make sure y'all can see that okay. Oh, I love this with the little polka dots. And then I also am going to um, attempt um, to make a little cake topper. Uh, I'm going to do a print and cut. And I'll also do a little video on that. So you can see that if you're interested. tiny little piece here. I'm trying to decide if I want to mess with it, but we'll see. Let's see if that'll stick. I had bowling this morning. So that was a lot of fun. I didn't bowl very well, but the ladies that I bowl with are so sweet and nice. So. I'm hoping I'll continue to, to get a little bit better. I um good at it but I just haven't bowled a lot so I'm not very consistent and I always use the the bowling balls at the alley but now I went ahead and actually got a bowling ball and um, and I think that's definitely gonna help so this is only the fourth week I think that I've bowled So I hope that I'll continue to get better. But some of these women, they've been bowling for decades. But it's not a competitive league, so that's nice. Mostly everyone's there just to have fun. And we usually go to lunch afterwards, which is also fun. So I'll finish up gluing this one and I'll show you over in Des Design Space what I've done. 
think you can kind of see that. And you can see I used my green mat. And I, um, the setting that I used was a medium cardstock. And I think, I think that's what you could call this cardstock. It's definitely not light cardstock. And it cut everything really well. off camera and then I will uh, show you once I get the items glued onto the ribbon. I hope that's going to work using that, that ribbon. If not, I do have some twine that uh, I can use. if that ribbon doesn't work. And then what I might do is just maybe tie the ribbon, kind of have some dangles in the ribbon. That might look nice. And the other fun thing that I think I'm gonna do is, well, not think I am gonna do, is I'm gonna make just a little single signature Minnie Mouse journal. And um, Amanda can take pictures from the party and she can put them in there. Oh my gosh, y'all, that is so stinking cute. Look at that. And I think I might add some glitter onto this one to kind of jazz it up a little bit. But yeah, those bows. I might just make a bow cake topper. I was thinking about doing a mini mouse. We'll see. All right, I'm going to stop the camera, finish the second one here, and then I'll be back and kind of show you all the, um, the finished product and what the images look like in Cricut Design Space and a couple hacks that I use. Here is the banner. I added these uh, like foil number fours on here since she's turning four. I think it turned out really cute. As I mentioned, here are the images in the Cricut Design Space on my canvas. So for this bow, the smaller bow right here, I just took this black one and shrunk it down. And then for the other big bows, you have the, the red pieces, the white pieces, and the black pieces, and then that's just the Mickey head. And then the purse is two pieces, the darker pink and the lighter pink. And then this number four, the font is called BFC Game Bold. And that is a Cricut font. And then this birthday girl font is a Disney font that I got a long, long, long time ago. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. And I'm thinking about using that on a shirt. I would turn it red. So a couple hacks I have. Um, when you have things like you have this <clears throat> cricket head, the Mickey head is black, and then this background is also black, you um, can just change the color so if you only want to cut out the Mickeys first, then you can just change the color of that to, you know, a color that's not being used anywhere else. And that way, when you click to make it, you can just click on your purple mat and get those out. So like the number four, I changed that to blue because I didn't want it cutting out with these red bow pieces because I'd already, already cut those out. So I'll just change it to blue, even though I used a red foil. So that's a little hack um, that I'll do. Um, especially, like, you know, if you wanted to cut all of your um, black out at once, you can. But I was kind of making sure this is the right size. And before I started printing out the, the bow. 
So just a little hack for you all. And um, yeah, I really like how this turned out. Finishing up for the evening, one final thing I made. I did a print then cut with my Cricut of this image and I'm gonna put a popsicle stick here in between these two layers and this will be um, a little thing they put on the cake, a little cake topper. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. And if you have questions about how to use your Cricut, I have dozens and dozens of videos, hundreds of videos on the Cricut and how to use it. So make sure you check those out. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, love you.